All right. Scanners out, class. Don't know what we're going to see, but it's almost certainly new. What is all this? I can help you better if you show yourself. If we could show ourselves, we would not be in storage. You mean uh, you don't have a physical presence? Are you one of them? An architect? Storage medium identified. We will be lost unless we find any of those. Can you help? Can you use my PDA for storage? You are not with the group from before. Your cybernetic components bear their signal. Altera? <laughs> no, my equipment is, uh, borrowed. It will have to do. It will have to do. This rock took this the hell out. <laughs> Press F8 to report bugs. The anticipating bugs happening here. Maybe they are. These guys are chill. So yeah, definitely AI. And they seem to not have a body or anywhere to like exist. So they want to come with me in my in my PDA. An ion cube. Look at you. Just casually picking these up, huh? Huh. Maybe it's just because I'm willing to go deeper faster or something, but I feel like we're... F <laughs> these guys are so silly and awkward. I feel like we're finding these, like, weirdly early in the game. That we're in, like, an alien facility. How long have you been stored here? Longer than Warning. Sanctuary power. Critical. Our data can be downloaded from the terminal. We may speak more once the transfer is completed. Yes, okay. Hurrying. Power critical. Did I do that just now when I took cubes away? <laughs> May have been me. Do I climb up here? There's a ramp. Storage medium. Excited. Brace from Chester. Brace? cybernetic and organic components. My mind is not a component. You sound angry. We will allow you a moment to process. Don't you go silent on me. <laughs> this is not happening. That's the explanation. It's not happening. Well. That went how I thought it would. <laughs> I'm like, this is... Yeah, your PDA, totally. That nothing sinister and worrying is going to happen here. I thought it was going to be because they're intentionally... Uh, obscuring what's going to happen. And then betraying me. But instead it sounds more like it was a misunderstanding about boundaries between different species. Architect Containment Cube. While advanced human civilization has attempted for centuries to develop a successful whole brain emulation techniques, it appears that the architect race has built a platform for accomplishing this holy grail of life extension technology. 
Physically, the containment cube appears to be comprised of redundant array of quantum holographic storage layers, supporting a hyperdense capacity of 35 bits per electron. Ha. That's... wow. Okay. Per electron? Those are, those are the base components. How are you getting multiple po points of data for that? Quantum stuff's weird. The energy field that feeds a suspended animated cube also serves to power the operating software, allowing the intelligence in storage to maintain consciousness throughout the storage period. Once a stored consciousness has been transferred out of the cube, the component parts will become inert. Without witnessing and carefully observing the backup process, it is difficult to ascertain how the transfer works and whether or not the process is truly lossless. Hmm. So now there's just another consciousness in my head. I suppose this is a less lonely game than the last one. There's a, there's a human out there somewhere that I've seen with my own eyes. I'm searching for potential survivors besides that woman that might also be around for all I know. And now I've got a Cortana. Ion cube. This green mineral substance has no entry on the periodic table and an unprecedented ability to store huge amounts of ionic energy within it. Likely grown artificially. Cubic appears cubic appearance suggests that it has been cut from a larger deposit. Each cube contains the equivalent ionic energy of five kilotons of TNT. Under the right conditions, the energy could be released in a controlled manner. Likely used as batteries, would require a substantial power source to be recharged. Valuable energy source. It was useful for something. Probably wasn't the best thing, at least for, for them, when I ripped them out of this stuff. <laughs> oh, there's some really silly stuff here. I still haven't made a mod station, because it re doesn't require magnetite. Or diamonds, I forget. The sea truck. The sea truck is an advanced underwater vehicle with attachable modular cabins for maximum adaptability in the field. So you do ex you do modify it and extend it like the uh, like, like I figured, because it's longer in the picture. And I'm like, oh, it's a truck, like a like the types like the, the big rig ones that that carry around uh, shipping containers. <clears throat> main cabin, small and nimble, with. When un unencumbered by additional modules, the main cabin alone is comparable in speed to the sea moth. Ah, so it's kind of like having a sea moth. A wide, reinforced glass viewing window provides excellent forward visibility while at the helm. Retractable helms person's chair. No expense spared. <laughs> wow, a chair. Uh, unlike the larger Cyclops submarine, the sea truck does not support the addition of internal modules like fabricators. Ah. Uh, however, it can be upgraded to enhance its speed, towing power, and crush depth, amongst other things. Hmm. You can't have a fabricator. The fa and they compare it to a Cyclops and a sea moth here. Are they prepping me for the idea of this being all I get this time? I'm curious because, like, coming down here, this was a really, really compact series of little caves. Like, it wasn't very open. And so, like, I'm wondering, is this the new approach? Are they, go are they stepping away from the giant submarine? Hmm. Not being able to put... A fabricator means that we can't craft anything without making a base. I was, gonna, I was about to say without going back to the base, but I realized, like, I guess if you have enough stuff, you can literally just create a base. You just need a power source to power it. <clears throat> Speed's variable based on cargo. Crush depth's 150, so it started at 150. I already increased that. Two power cells is its power. Can I even make power cells yet? I need to double. Ch no, I, yeah, I made a power cell to make it, right? I need to think about a power cell charger. That's what I'm thinking about. Upgrade module slots four, persons one, or more. That, that includes all numbers. <laughs> At least all numbers that people can be. You can't have negative people usually. Additional modules. Bespoke cargo modules can be attached to the rear of the main cabin, providing a range of powerful benefits. Available modules include 
fabricators. Wait. Does not support mod fabricator, but then there's a fabricator. I guess they mean that there's a... That's, that's a little unclear. I think what they mean is that there is a specific sea truck fabricator that you can build inside of it that's unique. And that you can't place the fabricator that you put in your base on a wall inside the sea truck. I think that's what they're trying to say, but they said it kind of weirdly. It made it just sound like you couldn't have fabricators or really anything Seems similar. Shut up! I'm this this mechanic. <laughs> it doesn't pause when you're reading, and it bums me out. Uh, fabricators, docking stations, habitation sections, and of course, plenty of storage. Additional cargo modules reduce the sea truck's speed, maneuverability, and power efficiency. Additional mo mo modules can be jettisoned directly from the main cockpit controls to enable exploration of tight spaces or in case of emergency. The sea truck competing products are trucking hell. <laughs> Hmm. Jettisoned. I assume you can just get it back. It just kind of hangs out. Floating wherever you left it. So you can, like, temporarily pop off a chunk of your ship to change the size of yourself to then explore some space that you couldn't fit into. But also, maybe you need to, like, emergency eject because you need to get away from, like, a leviathan that's coming after you. And you need to go faster. What a tense choice to make. And then you have like the the fact that the stuff you're getting rid of is potentially like really important. And then you gotta wonder like will the Leviathan attack that stuff? Well, I gotta admit this was a uh, less to explore than I expected. <laughs> I was gearing up for a big spree, but it was pretty much just a uh, cutscene. But the ramifications of that are interesting. We've got um another person inside of me. That's concerning. It almost sounds like radiation sounds or something. Maybe if I get back to my base, I'll find out that, like, we have, uh... Maybe I'll find that we have water there now. I mean, we I, I guess I always do because I still have water, water bottles, but I want that... I want my nuts to grow in. <laughs> Goes deeper down here. Uh-oh. Is this where the sounds are coming from? <sighs> I want you to know that I instantly regret looking down here. Oh my god, why does it go so far? Seek fluid intake immediately. Nope. 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 Didn't like that sound. I mean, no, I, I'm a big brave boy. I'm just really thirsty. Better go get some water before I croak of thirst. So sad. Oh shit, my thing expired. It can do that. I guess I knew the whole time that it had some kind of meter. Sea truck? Okay, I was like, where was I? Look how glowy it is in here. Why are the solar. Oh, the solar panels are. I? We understand this arrangement is undesirable to you. You're not real. 
Go away. To go, we require a suitable body for transfer. Why do you keep saying we? How many of you are there? One of us and all of us. We do not think of ourselves as individual, distinct. Why don't you start by telling me who you are? You may append your seed code to my species designation. Please call me al -Ann. My whole life I've been dying to meet a sapient, space-fearing alien up close, and you're telling me your name is Alan? Is it insufficient? No, it's fine. It's perfect. Where are you from, Alan? Your kind calls us architects. The precursor race. But what are you doing here? That is a long story. Perhaps you would prefer to focus on the construction of a new storage medium to which I may transfer. Yes. Fine, absolutely. How do we get you out of my head? I have added the information to your data bank. You will need to find the necessary components. Any idea where I can find them? It is unclear. I have been disconnected from my network for so long I cannot locate the coordinates. <sighs> I think that's that. It's a long story. Every time someone dismisses something as it's a long story, I'm like, then tell it. <laughs> I'm waiting. Video games are the most time consuming medium in the world, practically, besides, like, you know, the long stories, books. <laughs> uh, like. Ah, oh, fuck. No more thinking. Only food. There, shut up. Jesus. <laughs> oh, that's really in favor of food more than water, huh? Mm. I had to find a, 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 a watery plant. But, like, this this is a, an entire medium that's kind of about taking your time in many cases. And then I am especially a take-your-time kind of person, as you may have noticed. So when every single time they hand wave away telling me something I want to hear by saying it's a long story, I'm like... What? I don't. I don't care. <laughs> Do it. Do it. The um. It, it's it's funny how how the uh. Like how many dialogue driven games I see where every single time that you have a dialogue choice, what the bottom choice, one of the choices is like, ugh, boring. I don't want to hear your stupid story. Just get on with it. And I'm like, who is that for? It's definitely not for me. Architect storage media. While we, have a, while we have evolved beyond physical attachment, it is traditional to navigate space-time in conjunction with mobile, biomechanical storage media, altered and evolved over time to serve the inhabitants' needs. While it is possible to transfer between media at will, there is some comfort and prestige in, in, impro in, in, in improving a body over time. We have set settled on a popular format for these media, though there are exceptions. It is a heavily modified version of our pre-civilization, our pre-civilized bodies. It provides good mobility, easy adaptation, and is easy to fix. In case of disaster, we can back up our data patterns to a sanctuary site for later retrieval. Storage in this fashion is safe provided consistent power supply. However, unique perspectives and traits can arose, which arose from the interplay with the original medium are lost. It is like a factory reset. It is recommended individuals be restored to a compatible medium as soon as possible. Such hollow vessels may be fast grown from seed using specialized blueprints and material. Grown from seed? Are they druids? While it is, techni while it is technically possible for an individual to copy their data in order to duplicate themselves ad infinitum, such behaviors are considered beyond rude, like a serious no-no, bro, and any self-respecting architect would resolve such a circumstance by immediately deleting themselves. Wow. So whatever you do, do not make copies of yourselves. Very rude. I think we picked this up when I was trying not to drown. Fred, great to see you. Come on in. You don't mind if I record this, do you? Uh, am I in trouble? <laughs> no, you know me. Just a fanatic for details. And my memory's not what it used to be. <laughs> I know what that's like. <laughs> yes. Is that why you've been running so many personal errands for your colleagues? We asked you to limit them. Uh, so I am in trouble. That's not how I want you to look at it. Here's what I see. 
You're a team player. You want to get the job done. Well, I think I have a pretty good record there. You want people to like you. Has anyone complained? Fred, the trouble is, not everyone is as reliable as you are. Sometimes people need help being where they need to be and concentrating on their work. All the trips were work-related. It appears you transported tech for Lil, rather far out from her base. Well, it needed to go deep, and she needed a sea truck. Her work is currently on surface installations. She shouldn't be anywhere near the water. I, uh, well, I... No more favors to friends, agreed? Yes, sir. <laughs> ah, I keep telling you. Call me Manu. <laughs> I yeah, he's he makes me deeply uncomfortable. The way that he talks in this creepy, friendly tone that's completely flat, like it's practiced. The damn ugly thing followed me into the shallows. Didn't think something that big would follow me up here. Had a jettison the sea truck. Again. <sighs> I guess I could try to go back for the parts when it leaves. If it leaves. I really don't want to sit in another meeting with Emmanuel, Manu, as he likes to be called. Ugh, I just want to drive around and deliver cargo in peace. Is that from when I picked up the data thing that gave me the rebreather or something? I'm not totally sure when I got that one, actually. Can't always stop. I mean, most of these things you get in the ocean, so you pretty much definitely can't stop. And then what? Let's see. I can add things to my to-do list from here. Maybe, maybe sh uh, stuff that I normally can't get. Synthetic fibers, ruby and spiral plant clipping. Interesting. What have I never made before here? It's all familiar. Some of the stuff just hasn't been checked, so it's still saying it's new and it's not. A light stick, deployable lighting. That's a way to kind of create a la uh, path to take to get to somewhere. If nothing else, the pathfinder's weird too. The hollow discs. Another thing I've never used, but maybe it's more trouble than it's worth. Just like the other thing that I saw. I still haven't done graph trap. I found one of these, but never found a second one. It's kind of a surprise. Sea truck depth upgrade mark two. And upgrade mark three. They're both in the modification station, along with where I can get my thermo blade, which is just a survival knife with a battery jammed into it. Uh, I need to make my mod station. Scanner room upgrades. I want the HUD chip and the range. Speed's not that important to me, necessarily. Yeah, base upgrades. So they're in here. Okay. I was getting annoyed a little bit, wanting to know how to make stuff like this. So, uh, modification station. No, these are super high priority otherwise. That's, the stuff's cosmetic. The trash can's just some nonsense. There it is. Architect components. Architect tissues, architect skeleton, architect organs. So we have a lot of research to do, because I don't even have the basic idea of how to proceed yet, unfortunately. Come, come, come! It turns out that swallowing nuts is not the most efficient way to get moisture. But if I clear, if I clear out the whole neighborhood, then we're in a decent place. I guess it's still faster than going on a trip to somewhere else, but I'm hopefully I'll find a better plant at some point. Okay, it's so got a little bit of you. Then we got the big deal stuff. I guess salvage technically. I'm out of space though. Can put supplies in one of here. Yeah. Nope. I mixed up le yeah, I mixed up which thing was the which between left and right and other stuff. I should have always had a beacon with me. That was a mistake. 
I probably was... Oh god, there's a lot of these, huh? How many of these can fit in organic? A couple of them. I just need to expand my storage at some point. Alright, so, oh, battery's already in there. What did I just do? Oh, I just... Okay, yeah, I just slightly moved one of them. I thought I did something... Like, used one or something? Okay. So we got crazy batteries that seem kind of important. And I've got a scary basement down there. To be worried about. So that was down... Can I even see that far down, honestly? There are caves down there. I, I think those those might be what I was looking at. Now let's look for fragments. I don't know if I'm quite ready to jump down there again yet, but I, w I don't want to look for any fragments in the area. I'm hoping that any fragments that show up on here are fragments I don't have already. Is that me? I wish that my my scanner room was more obvious. So two pings left of southeast. Like, right here. Let's go up against the scanner room. Southeast. Here. Is it that? Damn it. If that is it, then that means that fragments I've already found before show up. But I already found before... Oh, maybe it's a mobile vehicle bay? But I already found before, I mean I already have the recipe. Not that exists... Not that exact, exact fragment. Hey, there's a lot of them here. What's that? Not important, probably? But honestly, there's enough of them around here that maybe it is showing me something new. And it's just hard to see past all the ones that aren't new. Oh, someone's coming for me. That's one of those, yeah, that's one of those capsule-y, module -y spots. It would certainly help if I had a record of where I found it. So I, I found that I found the gravity trap thing somewhere. And some kind of hint would be very helpful. So I, this thing ran out of stuff earlier. I imagine it's because it. Oh, I guess it just stores oxygen, right? Like, that makes sense. So you st it stocks up oxygen whenever you're in an oxygen place, and it uses that to quickly lift you up, but then it runs out. And so it's not a catch-all, easy way to the su surface. There you go. There's an that's an inflating. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, so this is useless to me. Because they're everywhere. It's not going to help me find new ones. I'm good on. I found silver, diamonds. Most of we just have the gel sack, huh? I have all these things. What's up with the root pustules? Can I, like, take these out? Throw them on the ground? Because I don't think I have data on these. I don't know what the root pustules are for. Let's go over here on a shelf. Gross. That's distressing looking. Yeah, it, not only is it fucking huge, I can't scan it. So not sure what's going on there. Salt having its own thing is a bit of a farce at this point. What do I even use salt for? I think you just use salt for, um, uh, da, 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 uh curing meats? <laughs> Alright, so looking at my stuff. Ah! Okay. 
Diamond. Uh, what's what goes into a regular computer chip? Whatever. Let's grab lead. I got distracted by the other thing I used a diamond for, but as it turns out, a mod station also requires a diamond. So a computer chip is gold, copper, copper, table, table. Table, table. Gold. Copper, copper. This will expand my to-do list significantly. Because I'll have I'll have all these mod station upgrades I can do. Although I think some of them might already be up here. I think I'm good? Yeah. Okay, so... Let's put one of these down. I guess here, there's like a little square that fits it nicely. And it's just posters over here, so it's not in the way of, any, of anything. I've got a mod station! Okay. Click. God, eh. How do I... Click. No, there, there you go. Just get off my screen. Just get the fuck off my screen. Um... Honestly, this is unnecessary. It's why rubies are nest. It's why rubies are helpful, but I don't actually have anything that requires that yet. Although maybe I'll get that right now. The thermo blade. It's easy enough. Just used up one of my batteries, though. I want to make more of those. The sea truck depth upgrade. Okay, so I need rubies. First I need rubies, then I'm going to need kyanite and nickel. Hmm. And, uh, this is mostly a disappointing place to get upgrades right now. It currently just puts a couple of things in my in my sea truck. None of it, like, modifies my, like, my, uh, my tools to do anything new and interesting. So I guess we'll just have to settle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Rubies. No fucking clue where rubies are. Could they be down in the bad bad? You know, none of these upgrades feature, um... None of these upgrades feature being able to... How am I this thirsty again? I'm realizing thirst is just kind of an annoying thing to deal with all the time. I haven't even left the base yet. And it's halfway gone? Is there a thirst mechanic based around, like, what you ate being more or less efficient or something? I don't know. Anyway, I don't need any more right now. These things grow pretty quickly. I definitely need to plant these at a better angle so I can reach both sides of it. So, because they... I can't reach some of these. Ooh, that's all you can fit in there. Active. It's mulching! It's mulching! Gross. You do you. And that'll give us more power. Not necessarily the most necessary thing. I'm not really using much power yet, but that's how you do that. Did I just watch bubbles go through the middle of my ship? Yeah, there it goes again. Every now and then the bubbles render inside. That's funny. Nope. I was gonna go take another look at the scary place. But I realized I forgot to do a step here. Ah, shit. Ah, whoop. Boop, boop, boop. And... Boop. 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 Yeah, a little low on batteries because I'd used one to make a thermo blade. And now I'm ready to head out and be not happy with my choices down here. Hmm. It's really deep. I think I'm going to want to take my sea truck.
Hello, vehicle. I also might be a little less afraid inside of a sea truck. Look how chunky I am. Unfortunately, we might see a spike in my cowardice. So we'll see. <laughs> if I'm right about the spooky sounds coming from down there, I might see something I'm really not happy to see. And, uh... That might make me a little more cautious than I have been, because... I've been kind of chill lately, honestly. Like, uncharacteristically so, and I think that's partly because nothing's happened. The closest scare we've had is one glimpse of a, of a horrifying silhouette, and I've just never seen it again. And I keep worrying that I'm going to accidentally go there again and see it again, but I haven't. And the longer I go without seeing it, the longer I can go not being as afraid. See Chuck Fabricator module? Hello. Did you see something moving? What? Uh. 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 I was right. What the fuck is that? Is that that's it? Shit! They're down here. The looming threat I was worried about is the fucking... That's it, isn't it? That's the thing that took a bite out of the thing earlier. Fuck. There's diamonds here. down there. It's really, it's a little hard to see. With YouTube compression, it might be a problem. But I can see the movement. Fuck that, dude. I am not happy with that. Lights off. Dude, I'm gonna... Ugh. Uh Being in one being inside of something like this makes everything swimmy and weird. Hello. Oh god, the way this thing rolls. Oh god. I'm not used to this. It's like difficult to tell which way's up and down, honestly. No. Damn it! We were having such a happy-go-lucky base-building adventure. Now I got now I got to go back to being afraid of the game all the time. Cheese on a cracker. Saw me. Managed to eject the cargo modules and hide. Sitting here with the lights off, sweating through my shirt. I'm not gonna get pooped out of the back end of a sea monster to save Altera some money. Manuel is not going to be happy. Not one bit. What's even down here? Like, it's a video game, so something's probably down here to make this trip worth it. Oh, hey, it's the goops. A gel sack. Yeah, you're, you, you were in the last game. You do something. I believe. So I think the game is giving me a hint there. And I think that hint is that you, uh... There, you're, you get, you seem to be better at hiding if your lights are off, which just feels like incentive to never turn the lights on. Honestly. Oh no! What a shame! I'm nearing the maximum depth this vehicle can go to. Oh no! I guess I can't go any deeper. Guess I'll have to not explore. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> 
How many of them are there? Ow. Yeah, this thing keeps trying to spin when I'm looking down, trying to like orient itself towards the top, like up being up. But it's it's really disorienting. And oh god, there's one. Stop spinning, god damn it! I don't like it. I wish I had control over the spinning. There it is over there. Fuck! There's at least two! Uh-huh. Oh, there it is. No. Can I have back my Cyclops? I felt safer in the Cyclops. It also had like a... A radar that helped me know when things were nearby. Can't track them except visually. Uh. Ow. Is that is that rubies behind it? No, it's just these tendrils, right? Well, there it is. Oh, it's face. That was weird. Well, guys, this is as good of a look as you're going to get one of these guys, hopefully for a while, because... Fuck you, I'm not going in... I'm not going to swim around here in person. Nope. 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 Nope, 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 nope. I think it might have seen me. I think it might have seen me when I made some noise. Mm -hmm. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I am not getting... I'm, I don't want to be there. But I'm also not getting out of my vehicle. Especially. And we're about to hit the crushing depth. So I will lean hard on that excuse. Which is that we're about to hit 300. So I couldn't go any deeper without another upgrade. Which means I need to find rubies. Right? Uh, yeah. Enameled glass and rubies and stuff. So I, need, I need to find rubies to continue. And those rubies... Uh, must be somewhere besides down there, I guess, right? Unless they won't... Uh... Because there's no crushing depth for a person in this game, technically... Technically, they could make you look for rubies. Uh... They could technically make you look for rubies and, and things for your depth upgrade by swimming there in person, I guess. For the Ashleys of the world that don't freaking even build the Cyclops. But, uh... I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess the rubies are, that were placed by a sane person that, that put them at a height you can reach with the current depth thing. Uh, diamonds, so that's nice. Hello, diamond. One day you'll have a storage location. The gel sack. New blueprints. Aerogel. You use aerogel. You use gel sacks to make aerogel. Gel sacks and rubies. High heat insulation. Did we use. I think we used gel sacks to. Uh... I think we used them to research. I feel like the reason used to make the Cyclops last time. So gel sacks, those are good to have. Hopefully I can find a better source than that place, because there wasn't much in sight there. Plus food and H2O. Uh I'll put it here, but I think if because it's edible, I think when I come back it might be decayed. Shit. But I don't think I have an outdoor planter. So I think I need to find... Hmm. I don't think a, I don't think any, an aquarium is a planter. I think you could plant things in the bigger aquarium, but we don't have that one. The room-sized aquarium. That's not one of our options right now. Nope. Alright. 
Well, now I'm going to have to come up with what to do next. Because I'm not going any deeper right now. And my goals are relatively finite. Let's see. Beacons. Delta Station, been there. Be emergency uh, supply is literally turned off. Home. It's not especially useful, but I keep it up to, just to orient myself. Pilot, last known position, drop pod. Oh, wait, no, home is where I am. Sorry, drop pod's the one I just keep on for the sake of it. Make the sea truck the nice, friendly green color, I guess. I'm So I don't think I'm quite ready to go out for the pilot, because I feel like that's too deep and I'm worried about... Will this help us build you a body? I do not know what we will find. I just know it is important. Wow. I... Location uploaded to PDA. Archit well, that's a different direction. Granted, I don't I don't trust objectives. I've been burned before looking for objectives in the in these games. Obviously, we we got to do them, so it's not much of a choice anyway. But that's where the bad stuff tends to be. The objectives, they're dangerous. But yeah, that seems more approachable than that. Nine hundred meters, similar looking height, but the the distance means that it's actually deeper down because I'm looking down at it. So the significant distance means that it's significantly lower overall. But I just just nervous how she just dove into the open ocean and and I think she I think it was like deep from the high angle of from the high angle of the island it was like way of more of a deep angle and you're like oh god I don't like how low that waypoint looks so I'm procrastinating on that one as long as possible so I guess I'll go for that one or the the uh station I got cut off by that. It's incredible timing because I was like, "What am I gonna do next? I need, I need some goals." And the game was like, "Hey, check this place out." But yeah, what I was about to say is, I wanted to go to Kappa. There's something right here by the island. Should be approachable in my sea truck. So maybe that first. Then. Oh yeah, I, f I think I figured she was probably in Sigma. Is that the Omega? So she probably went to Omega, because I think I figured out that the angle matched up. I'm probably... Where am I? I'm almost directly north of the island. So I'm somewhere over here. And they want me to go northeast, but down, so not, it's not on land. They want me to go like here-ish. Okay. That might be, yeah, given that I'm here, that might, that might that might be chill, or it might be this horrible ice labyrinth where I can't reach the surface anywhere and then I drown. Looking forward to it.